If you guys are anything like me, you probably have a plethora of platforms you use digitally to keep your life in order, whether it be work or personal. A lot of these are helpful tools and they work great as standalone, but they don't usually connect together. And when you can connect them together, it's often not very intelligent and definitely not automatic. However, there is a solution to this problem and it's Zapier. It's been around for a very long time now connecting thousands of apps together to create automations that actually get work done. Recently, they have integrated AI with their platform, and now they consider themselves an AI orchestration platform. I don't have to tell you guys how potent AI is for automated workflows. Of course, full transparency, Zapier did sponsor this video. However, this is a platform that I've used in the past. I trust them personally. I am not here to BS you guys. They're offering a lot of upfront value even on their entirely free plan, you can create these AI automations and test them out, actually use them if you want. The chances that you're using a product that they can hook up to and connect with AI today is super high. I appreciate you guys being understanding about sponsored content, and I am absolutely here to provide you guys with upfront value that you can use for free today. So throughout this video, we're going to build automation from scratch, but I want to give you a quick demo and give you an idea of how custom tailored these can be. Obviously, I'm a content creator. A big part of my work is actually getting video ideas and following trending topics, especially in the AI space. So this is the first automation I'm gonna show you guys today. It's actually very simple. It begins with a simple RSS intake by Zapier. Now, to give you guys some context, an RSS feed is essentially an automated news feed often provided by a website. They can be custom tailored to all kinds of certain things. And if it's from a source you trust, they're quick, automatic, and detail intense. RSS feeds are also often free, and in this case it is. Now this top little rectangle, RSS by Zapier here, anytime it detects a new item in feed from the RSS that I personally configured when I set this zap up, it's going to trigger, light up the zap, and it will begin working through its process. The reason it can automatically trigger and boot up like this is because Zapier's been doing automations even without AI for a long time. So stuff like RSS by Zapier, it's all reliable and it works every time. This panel on the right you can see is the configuration for this highlighted first block. You can see it's already set up as new item in feed, and then we'll move to configure. You can see I've already configured it with a specific URL that is the RSS URL completely free feel free to copy it if you want an AI one essentially anytime this website updates their RSS feed with a new piece of news Zapier is gonna see it it's gonna trigger it grab that information and bring it on to the next block in our automation this is where things get a little bit more complicated and this is where AI is first introduced into our workflow. I'm using AI by Zapier. Again, it's old reliable. It's made by Zapier themselves and it's highly configurable even down to the specific model, which you can see here. Anyways, you can see the goal of this one is to analyze and return data. We're going to be taking that data from that RSS feed, all of that news information on the latest AI tech, bring it into the AI and give it a specific prompt. I chose OpenAI as my provider. I went with GPT five mini simple and smart for summarization of course our input field into the ai is going to be that content from the rss feed when we build one ourselves later i'll show you how this actually looks and works when you're doing it in reality but this arrow here from one box to the next this is where that magic really happens of course a fully customizable prompt for your ai to make sure it behaves exactly as you want is available but zapier likes to make things easy so you can also auto generate your own and that is what i did here essentially i'm telling the ai to not not only take that information in, but turn it into some video ideas in concepts. We want catchy titles, hook and angles that make the story stand out, context and explanation, why it matters, what the implications are, potential visual slash demo elements, engaging opportunities, and an overall ranking of the ideas. I have this set up to do three different video ideas every time it's triggered, but of course, 
because we're using an AI model, it's infinitely customizable. And that's really where the magic of automated intake with Zapier and automated output using AI falls together into something that can be really personalized and useful for your workflows. You'll see in the prompt, we actually have some output fields and the AI has to adhere to these. This is how Zapier is keeping AI assistance reliable inside of their systems. Make sure you output the source, content type, audience, tone, length, goals, enhancements. It has no choice but to adhere to this stuff. So in taking fresh AI news, converting it into potential video ideas and useful information for me as a creator, that's all great. But how can I get it to my eyes in a seamless way? I don't want to log into Zapier every time just to look at an AI overview. Well, that is where our final piece comes in. For me, Notion is where my big think tank is regarding my YouTube channel, my video ideas, different projects, things get drafted on there. With the Notion connection, I can have this create a brand new page hooked right up to my account. You can see the way I have this set up is it's going to create a new page in Notion. Now, I don't want to just flood my Notion every day with new page after new page, so it's going to be encased in a parent page video scripts. When I click on video scripts, it's going to list all of those pages that it creates every day with my real-time updated video ideas based on actual AI news that's happening right now. All right, let's actually demonstrate this to you guys. Obviously, it's checking for automatic RSS feeds. So when a new one comes through, theoretically, it's going to go ahead and create my video idea output right in my Notion. Of course, to demonstrate it live for you guys, I'm going to have to trigger it manually. I'm going to click test run up here. I'll click Click feed A. This is an RSS feed that came in on Monday, it looks. Let's see how it goes. There it goes. Started successfully. And there it finally came through. It does take a little bit of time, of course, because you have to generate content with AI. But you can see we just had a successful run and I automatically get output my data. You can see it went through and thought about some high value stories regarding this. It's like an NVIDIA Spectrum XGS announcement, so probably something I wouldn't cover. But there actually is some pretty cool angles and information in here. Explanation of how NVIDIA plans to stitch far apart data centers into one massive AI factory. Some visual and demo elements, an animated map potentially connecting multiple data centers into a single super factory. Even coming up with an engaging poll, a couple of different titles hooks, angles, context, and explanations, basically some rough outlines for actual video creation. It actually went above and beyond. I only asked it to do three, but it did, it looks like five or six. But yeah, I would never use this if I had to go into Zapier every time to retrieve the automated generated AI data. I want it to be right where I get all of my typical video ideas anyways, in my personal Notion account. And it will all neatly organize itself right here. For me as a content creator, the value value here is all too obvious. It is very difficult to keep up with the latest AI news and then take those AI news pieces and try to figure out where the value is at. This helps me kind of nail things down automatically at a quick glance. It really is like an automatic video generation assistant based off of the latest AI news. This one right here is a little bit more custom tailored and fun, I think. It's a Discord reply bot. Whenever someone mentions my name on my own personal YouTube Discord server, it's going to grab that information, put it into Zapier AI, and create me some potential replies to engage the folks in my Discord server. And of course, automatically output them, you guessed it, to Notion. Zapier has already gone through the trouble of figuring out how to grab that information from Discord reliably and efficiently. When a new mention happens on my specific account in my server, it's gonna trigger this Zap. Specifically, I only have it monitoring the general chat right now, but I could potentially have this do other channels as well. It is going to grab that info, in this case, the chat that mentions me, and context surrounding that chat and bring it right into Zapier AI. Again, we're picking OpenAI. I've got GPT-5 Nano on this one. The input fields of the content, referenced message, global name, our prompt here, community manager for the Matt Vid Pro AI channel, some expected output format, and basic constraints. You can see the output fields a little bit more basic than last time, just an overview of what the content is about and a potential response so I can engage with the community. Finally, in Notion, 
Patreon, it's going to go ahead and put that content just like last time exactly where I need it. Honestly, I don't know why this extra step is here. I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. Just like last time, there's no one actively messaging me on general chat in my Discord right now. So we're going to have to do a test run with something that happened earlier. So we'll just pull some old data here. You can see that the zap is going to run now and it's going to do exactly the same thing pull that information from discord generate me with intelligent ai some potential responses and an overview and put it right in my notion where i need it you can see here is the basic overview this was literally just someone asking if i was in the u.s we have a suggestion here to prompt a friendly discussion about where members are from and what they're seeing in their communities this is the reply it generated me i might have to upgrade from gpt nano because it made a response to me instead of one in my first person although that is something that we could change in the prompt so here is my discord server which you should join by the way if you want to stay up to date in the ai space someone please at me with a random question i'm testing something okay some questions have come through thanks walla what's two plus two or to pee pee or to poo poo so within two minutes here it should trigger and recognize that i have two new replies and it's automatically going to put them in the zapier output Output. and that's nice we got some more questions are you an ai and can you send me money oh can i get money too gosh good lord and you can see the zap has successfully triggered on five new mentions let's see how this goes oh you can see they are popping through are you an ai <laughs> asks what's two plus two all right looks like it's working pretty well you can see for the are you an AI one, this is a great chance to clarify our channel's purpose and invite more interaction from the community. Okay, and then there you go. Here's a, another thing that we need to fix in the prompting side of things. Yes, I'm an AI here to help Matt VidPro AI content. What topics should we cover next? No, you're supposed to reply in my first person for the potential response. Again, if I didn't use GPT-5 Nano, it'd probably be smart enough to pick up on that, but I could always prompt for it. Okay, here is that silly one. Pee, pee versus poo poo very very stupid <laughs> okay the generation is great love the playful energy everyone quick poll pee pee or poo poo which would you pick today <laughs> <laughs> obviously if it was a serious question someone would probably seriously be adding me about like a recent ai tool i might have seen something like that uh, but it's good to see that it handles everything two plus two uh definitely giving us the correct response it equals four thanks for the prompt what ai topics or video ideas should we cover next on that vid pro ai regardless i think you guys understand the potential value if something serious happens if i need to step in deal with a situation on discord this is going to let me know pretty much as soon as someone tries to at me once I get mentioned, it'll send through the context, let me know what the basic situation is and how I should potentially respond. Definitely an organized way to stay up to date with how people are communicating with me on my Discord server, which is really the heart of the Matt VidPro community. So now that you guys have a basic idea of how I am personally using these customizable zaps to make my content creation life easier, let's make one from scratch. A hugely important note is that you can create zaps for entirely free and test them. Once you want them to publish and work automatically for you, that's when you are required to pay for a plan. You can build, test, and see if your personalized ideas are going to work before you even swipe your card, and I see that as a huge benefit on this platform. Some more complex and nuanced ideas might not work out despite Zapier having over 7,000 connections. It's good to know if it's really going to work for you before you spend money. Now, I also want to bring up that they have a co-pilot for creating zaps. It is a little bit complicated to set up all the triggers yourself. This allows you to use natural language to build your ideas and have it essentially do that for you automatically, which is super cool. And I'm a, I'm a huge fan of that, but it's really best for more simple tasks I've found. Like summarize Gmail emails and Google Docs. This is a perfect example of something that can be created really easily with the co-pilot. It. And to just demonstrate it to you guys, you can see how it actually works. Gives us all the steps that we need to actually create this app. I can literally add it automatically, and then I essentially just have to go through and customize them, which is real freaking cool, especially for beginners. But for this one, I want to try something more nuanced. I want to just build it myself. All right, here we are on a fresh untitled zap. You might notice my shirt has changed color. Yeah, sometimes recording gets split up into multiple days. All right, so for this, I want to tackle something mail related. I don't know about you guys, but my email is 
constantly a disaster. I have been using some light AI workflows to manage it in the past, but I want to see what we can do with Zapier. First up, I'm going to open Gmail, and whenever a new email hits my inbox, this Zap will be triggered. In terms of the mailbox, we'll make sure that it's using only unread emails. That way, it's not pulling stuff that I already have seen. Before we move on to the next step, let's test our trigger. We're going to pull email B here. This is just an ad from Google that the new Gemini 2.5 Flash is here. Next step, let's connect this right up to AI. I'm going to go ahead and select GPT-5 Mini. We definitely don't need a big brain AI to suss out emails. In our input field, we're obviously going to want to pull the email that triggered the zap in the first place. Let's just go ahead and map it to the body. Name it email body and click save. What's also pretty cool with Zapier's AI system is that you can input knowledge sources so it could draw directly from Notion, Google Docs, Google Drive. Now, if I was going to enhance this with knowledge sources, I'd probably build some sort of a document in Notion, perhaps, that has my ongoing projects or ongoing AI tools that I'm looking at. So I can go there and say, hey, this email is useless because he's already checked out this AI tool, something like that. All right. So for the prompt, I'm just going to start typing something pretty basic in here and then use the improve prompt button to automatically enhance it. All right. So I tried the improve prompt option. In this case, the prompt was already pretty good. So it kind of just reorganized it. Now we have to move on to the output field. Obviously, it's going to be outputting text an intelligent choice based off of the input data and its instructions. Important note, we're going to want to make sure that this output field is required in case the AI decides to be lazy. I could also add a field description in here if I wanted to, but the prompt's pretty solid. I don't think it'll have too much difficulty making sure that the output comes through. All right, let's generate a preview now of what this is going to look like. Of course, based off of the previous connection data that we already set up. And there you can see our simple output gives us our subject, gives us our decision, our reason. No, it's not super important, but I wouldn't delete it. Now we got to take this output and send it somewhere. Here's where it's going to get fun. I'm going to re-add the Gmail, and this time we're going to select add label to email, so my emails automatically get labeled. We'll go ahead and give this access to a couple of labels, spam, potential sponsor slash opportunities, trash, and important. To make it choose the right message, I believe we have to add an additional search step. As you can see, this one is find email, so new email comes in. AI makes a decision on the email that goes and finds that same exact email and then labels it. To make sure it is the correct email, the search string will have as the subject. All right, let's go ahead and test it out. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. It's getting caught up on the email labeling. All right, so to get this to fully work, I had to do a little bit of finagling. You can see once the analysis runs, it actually has to split into two paths, either keep the email or discard it. So on path A, for example, the text has to contain the decision to discard. It's literally looking for this text in the AI's output. Then it would find the email that was originally sent and add a label to put it in the trash because it's discard. Other one is the reverse opposite. If the decision is keep, it'll go ahead, find that email and label it as important. So to test this out, I've emailed myself, click run, it found that one new email, so it has triggered, and now the AI is going to analyze it and decide that, hey, this is just a test email, let's discard it. And you can see it has automatically moved this email to the trash. It looks like it decided that the Poe email also belonged in the trash, but yeah, every two minutes it's going to check my email, if there's a new one that's come through, it's going to analyze it and make a decision for me. And of course, Zapier obviously also has a ton of templates. You can see these are ones that are recommended for me based off of the ones I've already made. Now taking a look at the plans for Zapier, if you actually want to publish and end up using your zaps daily, this is the plan you're going to want to go for. You can see you get plenty of tasks per month, even on the free plan. My recommendation to you guys at home, start on the free plan, see if you can make something that works in the editor to actually get your tasks done. And if you want to rely on it, upgrade to the professional plan. So yeah, Zapier now as an AI orchestration platform, adding a level of intelligence or even creativity to your automated workflows is 
definitely a no-brainer. There are other AI-based automation platforms that exist, don't get me wrong, but Zapier has the most connections, has been doing it for the longest, and has a ton of features as well as great free options. Huge thanks to Zapier for supporting the channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video, and goodbye.